Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me and Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin if you meet me for the first time and today I am taking you on a journey how I decided on one camera of six. Now if you choose any of these cameras you won't be making a mistake because they are all very good but I had to pick one and that was the challenge. Trust me, it was tough. And hopefully it will help you decide if you're in a situation like that. And that's what we're talking about today. And that's the camera we're recording on today. So you could go ahead and guess right now, but I'll reveal it at the end. Coming up. All right, guys, if you're new here, you're welcome. Here we do music, movies, tech reviews, and uh, short film documentaries, and all the night entertainment, okay? Um, so if you love to watch movies, or you love to learn how to make movies, yep, this is the channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button while we get into the discussion. Now, first of all, let me give you the list of the six cameras that I had to choose from. These were the cameras, or these are the cameras that I still love, that I still have feelings for, deep feelings. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can't be everywhere at the same time. So, number one on the list, this one, the first I'm gonna call is my, is the one I really would want. And that's the Blackmagic Awesome Mini Pro 12K, 12K for 10K. Now, if you watch my channel, you know that I ranted about getting that camera in 2020. When it was released, I was I was determined. I didn't have the box. I didn't have the cash in hand to say, I just go and buy it. But I knew I could. And but little did I know that 2020 had other plans. And of course, as you all know, the pandemic came and said no work for the year. The chances of having jobs were slim, but when the jobs even showed up, I still could not go because someone had to be at home with the kids and it had to be me because I'm the one with the not so stable job. There was no hope of me getting any camera, actually, upgrading. I used the Pocket 4K, which is a good camera, which I'm happy with, I was happy with, and I'm still happy with today. I never thought I will. Um, if you watch my previous video, I said when I, when I upgrade, I'm gonna keep the 4K. And, uh, but that's not what happened. Arrow 5 came and A7S3 came. And it was ponder time. Now, for me, I am someone who's more into cinema cameras. Like, um, well, that's what I'm. That's what my dream is about: making movies, shots, and uh, documentaries, commercials, and stuff like that. Um, knowing that the Ursa Mini 12K is not looking possible, I said, okay, what's next? What's next? Because resolution is very 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 key for me um, of course picture quality and um, codec the raw codec and efficiency of the codec oh I still have this thing in my ears so I, I looked at um, my options arrow 5 funny enough arrow 5 had more chances of me of me going for it nah not with overheating I looked at it and looked at it because the resolution was more important to me. I love the A7 III, A7S 3 I love the image from the A7S 3 I love the fact that autofocus, I have never desired autofocus until I saw what that camera could do. You know, so um, not that I will really depend on it, but it will really help for a one-man um, one band, like one-man crew, filmmaking crew. Um, for example, I'm making my shot and that's on a tripod somewhere else uh, on a separate shot. Autofocus, I don't even have to worry about that because I know it's going to be nailed. All I need to do is set the composition on that angle 
and I'll focus on my camera on this angle and I know I'll be fine, you know, because that camera is it's good with autofocus, it's, re it's got reliable autofocus. So does the Arrow 5 actually. The Arrow 5 and the A7S3, they are good with that. So um, I, I, I was originally tilted towards the Arrow 5, but with the overheating uh, issues and the fact that I can record for longer period of, um, for a long period of time, that was a no-no for me because yes, all my projects are definitely long. Even a camera that don't overheat will probably overheat because of the way I shoot, you know? So, uh, nah. so that was out of the way. So we can cross the Arrow 5 out of the list now. Um, here's what I came to decide. If I was going to upgrade, and if 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 um, resolution is important to me, then I might have to do with away with the pocket 4K. Now and anything else in the in the studio that I don't need. So I started this. I sold the pocket for everything happened in December. I felt like now we're going into the new year. Now, hopefully, everything is going to be a lot better. Definitely, everything is going to be a lot better than than it was last year. Jobs are going to come. Calls have been coming in already to try to schedule the, the jobs that were held from last year. But at the same time, I needed to upgrade and, and you know, to prepare for these jobs. But the original plan was to do these jobs and get enough money to upgrade but something in December something just occurred to me like wait a minute what is more important to you if you want a higher resolution you could do away with this camera the lenses and a couple of other things in the office and start getting your your desires so I looked at it and I went on the sales rampage. It wasn't an easy one because I wasn't experienced in selling. <laughs> so um, I went on eBay. I put on, I said, I put my camera, my camera and the lenses. In fact, almost all the micro for third lenses. And I sold them. I sold some EF lenses. I sold my Rokunon. As much as I love the A7S III, I didn't want to replace the black magic my black magic experience for the camera that is the same resolution you know I, I mean it will be if if the a7s3 was what was the option then I might as well just stay with the pocket 4k because that camera is as good so um, I decided no that will be off the list hmm I guess you know where I'm going now. <laughs> so, all of a sudden, the FS6 showed up. And it was great. And it was lovely. And it caught my attention because it is a cinema camera. Trust me, any day and any time, I would choose the FS6 over the A7S3 because it's just built like I want. But it's the same resolution, 4K. I want to be able, now, understand me, 4K is, is nice, it's huge, it's still a high standard, but I deliver most of my jobs and I want to deliver most of my jobs in 4K. As much as I love the um, the FX6, I still could not put that plug. Two reasons, it was so expensive. Not really, not really, so uh, actually, let me, let, me be, let me make that clear. It is, it is, for the fact that it's cheaper than the FS9, and it's better than the FS9. That's a no-brainer, you know? I re at the point in time, I really wanted the FS9. In fact, I thought that that would do a lot for me. But 
as I got into documentary, which you may know, you may not know, but it's becoming a passion of mine, you know? From the little taste I have already had, I already know that that's the way to go. I need uh, higher resolutions to be able to do stuff because it's a one-man band most of the time. And having that ability to um, downsize and, you know, do some movements in short, it makes it look like there was more to the production, you know? It makes it add value to the production. And value is everything, you know? So um, I, I had to cancel out the FX6. Sadly enough, I really, really love that camera. You know, if resolution is not a thing for you, if it wasn't a thing for me, I would have jumped on it. So now, you know where we are, two options. <laughs> and if you watch my video, when I talked about the FX6, I made a video on the FX6. If you listen to, to what my narrative was, if you listen to that, if you watch that video, you'll probably be able to guess that it must be down to these two cameras. The red Komodo, and the last option is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Honestly, between these two cameras, my first pick any day, any time, will be the red Komodo. Hands down. It's just been a dream, you know, to have one of those. I've rented them for projects, but never really owned. Actually, I never even shot on the red because even when I rented them, it was the I hired helps that shot on them. I just focused on directing, um, was music videos back then. And I worked with the codec and editing, you know, color grading with the codec is awesome. It's so simple. <sighs> so that experience was one of the things that really drew me to the, the red Komodo 6K. But I sold and sold. It was a year without no project and sold. When I was close to pulling, the, pulling it off on the red Komodo, I thought about if I do get the red Komodo, what about lenses? You know, I knew what I needed for my documentary. So I needed to create space for my zoom. Cine lens is sitting right here now because I already know the camera. It feels like we've been friends for long, even though I'm just getting it. But together with this lens, I really don't feel so bad that I couldn't get the red Komodo. Ladies and gentlemen, my documentary focus lens. The P, the D zone film 20 to 55. Actually, I hate to, I hate to do credit. Even though I've done, I've done a lot of credit in the past. I just felt like I should be smarter this year. If I can't afford it, then I, I let it pass. Even though I couldn't afford these, I sold stuff to be able to afford it. I sold what I needed to be able to get what I needed more. The Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera, that's what I'm recording on, with the 18 to 35 Sigma 1.8 lens that will escort this guy on most projects. But we have another lens coming for my camera B, which we'll talk about the setup in another video. Yeah, another video coming about my documentary setup, two camera setup, lenses, and um, rigs. Yeah, um, if you stayed up to this end, 
to this point i really appreciate you um you could go ahead and like this uh video if you like it um share it if you love this video share it with someone you love if you love this video someone into film of course that you love if you don't love this video share it with someone into film that you hate yeah good punishment for him huh or her so um it's been a pleasure talking with you guys i gotta sign off now and um go practice with my new babies okay appreciate you appreciate your support so watch out for stuff watch out for contents um as i do my test and do my project i'll share with you guys my learning experience so far so don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and um, i guess i'll see you in the next video